What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with level four of What's Claws is Mind Free Play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. No trophy achievements can be found in this video. However, we are going to hit that stud requirement, which is going to help us get all three of those gold bricks. And we're going to, of course, find all ten mini kits freely, 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 and get that character token we missed in the story run. All right, as we can see here, we are standing in front of the Avengers Mansion. We're going to open up our map and toggle over to the levels and select what's clause is mine free play. Now, if you're in a hurry to get to those collectibles or you're looking for a specific collectible, you can use our quick links down below in the video description to help you get through those quickly. Now, as for who you choose, it doesn't really matter. But when we start things off, we are going to need somebody who can fly and melt things down with their heat ray. So we're going to use Iron Man. And Hey, Iron Man, what are you trying to melt the wasp for? That's no good. But uh, we're going to actually take out five, count them, five of these gold carts. They're like mine carts with gold in them. You know how we love us some gold. Too bad we don't get to keep any of it. We just got to melt it down and... Well, we get a little progress made each time we do it. So here we go. We got two down, three to go. The next one's going to be up on this little ledge, hiding back in the corner. It's kind of a funny angle to see it, but we we know right where you is. Now next we're actually going to have to fly all the way up to the top. And there are two waiting for us up on the final ledge. As you can see, there's one right there on the left of where we pop up once we climb up that ladder. And the fifth and final one's going to be over on the far right side, just behind the lava. Now, I have a couple of bad guys rush me, and for some reason I couldn't melt this guy down. He's got, like, some sort of a lock symbol over him. I'm, I'm missing something. I swear he's got body armor on. I tried to melt it down, but no good. Now it's red. That's I don't know. He's got red on him. Not sure why, but last one's over here, just like I said, behind the lava. We'll go ahead and melt it down and collect our first of ten mini kits. Now I'm going to get myself out of this jam by switching to the other characters and getting out of there. Oh, to the, yeah. Next up, we're going to switch to a character like Doctor Strange, who can manipulate this blue glowy bits back here. It's actually some sort of a levitation that he's got. And I'm sure there's a couple of other characters that can do this as well. But we use Doctor Strange. And you got to put not one, not two, but three of these jewels into the machine in order to make one mini kit. Now, unfortunately, there was no more jewels. Otherwise, we would have just farmed mini kits the whole time. And that would have been fun, huh? But instead, we're actually going to keep on keeping on. As it turns out, there is another mini kit right here before we even jump across the ledge. And it's actually in the front left corner where we can melt down some more gold. So Heat Ray is in need again. And I do believe this is, nope, not this time. There's a time coming up where I get totally confused in where characters are. And it's actually, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's kind of, it's kind of annoying. But all right, melt it down, and all of a sudden we've got ourselves a grapple plug. So I happen to know that Mordo can handle this, so I'll switch on over to him. Now, if uh, for whatever reason you don't have Mordo, Doctor Strange can get the job done as well. Next up, we need some more silver bricks broken, so we'll pull out Iron Man and blast... Oh, wait. Try again. We'll blast some of these rockets up there, and booyaka show. And once you get that silver broken, it actually rewards you with the mini kit. Now, next up, in my notes here, it says before. That's right, I said before. Creating a path across the lava mine carts. You're going to want to fly across the gap and switch on over to Captain. Hop on the old shield switch here. And we're, well, wait a minute. We're going to try to aim for this guy. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This foreground stuff's in our way. It's certainly a funny angle, but eventually I get that. Uh, you can tell you got it lined up properly because the... The target itself will have a line off of it, kind of indicating its path. I go ahead and launch it up there, and look at that. Bingo, bango, bongo. We got ourselves a mini kit. We'll take it. Now, we can officially go back to business over here with the story base elements, which reminds me, we have some quick links down below in the video description. If you're in a hurry to get to the next collectible, it happens to be the character token, Superior Spider-Man, followed by a mini kit. Number no psych, we got a Stanley. We get to freely, freely, freely. All right, so meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and use the Black Panther to go ahead and track his way all the way over to this pile of rubbish. And uh, good thing he's got some of them uh, claws on as part of his costume because I wouldn't want him to have to dig through that. There's probably some sort of disease or something up in there, but go ahead and push that cart all the way through once you get the parts to go ahead and build the push switch. And look at that. Oh no, it's blocked our pathway, and we're gonna have to use that crane to remove it. No problem. Now, when that stuff uh, got pushed around, we actually got a couple of buildable bricks. We'll rebuild a switch here, jump up and grab it. Look at that, we got the true believer. 
That is, of course, thanks to our 8x stud multiplier that we got going. And I do believe after we complete this level, we have enough moolah to go ahead and buy the next pink brick, which is the 6x, which then the studage really starts to add up quickly. All right, once you get across the lava minecarts, you're going to go ahead and need somebody strong to rip open this door. And once inside, we're going to do a few butt slams right on the other side of the tracks. And look at that. We've got ourselves a little spot where Ms. Marvel, or in our case, we got Mordo out too. He can actually make his way through those grates as well. And look at that. Once we get on the other side, all you have to do is simply touch the stick to move your character, and it will automatically pick up that character token for you. Make your way back through the grate, and now we've got some more story-based stuff to do. So first off, we have to get up top there and trigger that little moment. But for whatever reason, I skipped it. I actually get all the way up there. Watch this. I get up here, and I'm like, uh, hmm, he can't detect that. I'm going to switch on over to, uh, let's see here, Ms. Marvel. And then I'm going to come down here and smash this wall instead of doing what I was supposed to do. So kind of got ahead of myself, and it comes back to get me later, as I will have to come and complete that in a wee bit. But uh, meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and solve this. I love these little hack puzzles. So much better than the previous hacks. And I know that like you can't do like the LEGO Dimension style where you had to move the character around on the toy pad because there is no toy pad. But I am so glad that those are over, at least... They should be. I, I still have more Lego Dimensions to play, so who knows. All right, we went ahead and completed that puzzle, collected a few studs while we did, and look at that. We've got a ladder to get ourselves up to the top, which we've already seen because we flew up there with Iron Man in the very beginning to melt down those mine carts with gold in them. Now, we got a few bad guys still hanging out up here, so we'll go ahead and take care of those guys, and then we've got this little ledge we can drop down onto. Now, it's kind of funny because I sort of already missed an important ledge down below us, but it's almost easier to see it from the ledge we're on now. So I don't know if I really missed it or if I, I don't know. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. We got some vines that need to be dealt with, so we switch to the Black Panther and shred through those guys with our claws. And next up, we got to switch to somebody who can go su su smooth. And it looks like Ms. Marvel will do the trick for us. So we'll get in there, flip that switch. And of course, we're ahead of ourselves again. We're actually removing the lava, and this whole part isn't really a factor for us right away. But we're going to go ahead and freely. That's right. It's time to freely, freely. You can see him chanting. Oh, no. That uh, wasn't where we were supposed to go. I think I fail one more time before I actually get where I'm supposed to. Yep. So third time's the charm. You know how the Lego rules are. The rule of three. And guess what? Uh, let's make it four this time. All right, is it gonna be five? Uh, no, look, I get smart. I'm like, all right, people are watching, Brian. We gotta make, we gotta make good here. But uh, what we're going for is this Black Panther statue on the right side ledge. We're gonna need Doctor Strange to go ahead and manipulate the. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's some sort of like. Uh, well, it ends up being a little mini puzzle. And these are kind of my least favorite. Now I've kind of got them figured out. But look, I kind of didn't though. Look at the, the, the little buzz part is like where am I going which way do I go which way do I go but the goal is to go ahead and complete that shape without running over the same spot twice I still don't really have the best way to say that I'll figure that out at some point anyhow uh, we'll use our special powers to manipulate this lava rock with Stan on it and look at that we put him to safety and he gives us the old Excelsior he also talks about adding this onto his list of cameos which is super appropriate because he's been in a lot of stuff and that's rightfully so, as he's the creator of most of this stuff. Not all of it, but a fair amount of the universe and characters involved in that universe. All right, we have flown above the crane mine, and we're going to go ahead and pull out Star-Lord because we've got a gravity booster over here. Toss that bad boy in there and watch that mess get cleaned up right for it. Boy, I wish cleaning up my room was that easy. And once all that debris has been removed, we actually find a digging spot. So we'll go back to the Black Panther and his claws and rip open that mini kit. Next up, we're going to drop down onto this ledge that we should have handled our biz already, but we didn't. And we'll go ahead and hop on and watch out. Our senses are detecting something up above. Hopefully you hit that button in time. For us, it was square. And look at that. we got a couple of bricks we can build up into a techno panel. That's right. I'm bringing it back. Bringing it back. All right, we'll go ahead and hop on the old techno panel. And this time, instead of going for the cart blocking our special cart there, we're actually going to go for the other one first and then drop it like it's hot. Or I guess in this case, drop it like it's not because we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. 
But uh, we're going to make sure we get that mini kit before pushing that mine cart along the path. And when I do that, I actually kind of forget that I'm supposed to push that mine cart along the path. So we'll have to come back and do that in a wee bit, but no problem. In fact, I, I actually don't realize that until later. So there is a, a little bit of an edit, but it's, it's a decent edit. You'll see when we get there. Next up, we've got mini kit number seven, which is all the way over to the far right. Hopefully you've already removed that lava by going under that uh, so, so small spot earlier when we did that with uh, Miss Marvel after Black Panther removed those vines right above where we freed Lee. And now we actually have this shattered glass that we need to deal with. So we'll go ahead and use the Black Bolt to, sh to I guess he doesn't really scream. He kind of shouts it out a little bit and it goes kaplooey. And look at this, now we've got this hack spot we gotta hack with Ms. Marvel. So again, another one of these, we'll grab them studs. Thank you very much. And you know, I, I don't know, I think you can die. I've been shocked a few times in here, but I'm not sure there's really uh, a fail moment. Can you fail these? I don't know. Leave me a comment if you if you failed one of these. I, I guess maybe don't, you might get ridiculed. Don't, don't leave me a comment if you fail one of these. But once you solve that puzzle, it'll make everything short out. And eventually, I kind of freaked out for a second, but eventually the mini kit should show up right where you went into that terminal. Now, right in front of that, you should find yourselves a j -j 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 jackhammer. And we're going to drill our way all the way over to the far front right side of the screen. I guess it's kind of left from where we start. But uh, Booyaka Shao, drill that mini kit out and collect it for number eight. All right, build up these tracks up above. That was also something we found after we removed that hot lava. And next up, we've got this this electricity panel in the back. And however, we oh yeah, we got Thor. He's gonna go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up with his special powers. And once he does, it actually activates a mini kit in the background here. And look at that, it goes taken off and a running. Turns out we gotta go for a little slide. So get ready. We're gonna we're gonna go for a little. And down at the bottom, we grab the mini kit. Now, at this point, I should have pushed that cart all the way down the tracks and up, but nope, I forgot. So there's the edit I was talking about, and it wasn't terrible. We had to go right back. Whee! Who doesn't want to go down that slide again, right? I mean, come on. Once we get down here, we'll go ahead and push it along the tracks. Look out, Captain. And make it all the way down. Now, if you've done everything else we have shown you in this video, it should all be ready to go. And look at that, it's gonna go up and it does all the work for us. Thank gosh. Well, that would have been a heavy little mine cart it would. Oh, it even twists for us. That's a pretty sweet little deal. That must be some Lego Technics going on right there. Lots of gears and stuff. Alright, last but not least, there are a couple of bad guys that come out, and you may or may not still have a couple of guardians protecting that door. Now, we've already handled that switch that drains the lava. So that's what the camera is like, we already did that. And unfortunately, he didn't know that, but it was trying to give us a hint, like, hey, uh... Oh, yeah, and there is a whole bunch of studs in that <laughs> shaft right there. So, uh, we'll drop down there and grab those. Looks like I might have missed a bluesy or twosy, but now we got to push this along. And, hey, uh, the, speaking of those guardians guarding the door, I highly recommend using Star-Lord to go ahead and give them stars. If you shoot them, they will stop shooting at you, and that will give you an opportunity to get up close and personal and take them out. Now... Uh, if you've done all that and you push the cart along, you got to switch to a character like Black Panther. I think Spider-Man will do the trick, too, and go over to the sense spot where he gets uh, the senses and gets attacked by that crazy ape. And we'll go ahead and build up the pieces he leaves behind. And guess what? Boom goes the dynamite, which takes us right into the next scene. And look at that man ape. And this is one of the longer boss battles. At first, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to a character like Lockjaw. I think Mordo will do the trick as well. We'll go ahead and teleport right on through over to the far left side. I don't think you can fly. I do believe the game prevents you from flying over there. I didn't try it though. So I used the teleporter and Lockjaw got it for me and Booyaka Show. That is all 10 mini kits. We of course freed Lee and got that character token. If you remember, it was Superior Spider-Man. So hopefully you guys use those quick links to go through. And hey, if you haven't already, if you're into Instagram, you can insta-follow us by going to instagram.com slash happythumbsgaming and clicking that follow button. I guess, I guess it's really not an insta-follow, but it's just kind of a, a tricky phrase. Insta, you know, Instagram, insta-follow. All right, uh, here we are again in another one of these battles. There may be a particular character who does more damage than others. I probably should have switched to like Hulk or somebody big that would have done some serious damage. That, that That's probably something I'll try next time because I know Captain seems to do more damage than, say, Star-Lord, you know, and, and no no beef with Star-Lord. I love Peter Quill and uh, everything that goes with that character, including Chris Pratt. 
That's right, I'm a secret Chris Pratt fan. All right, so this is one of those battles where the rule of three totally comes into play. I feel like, they, they, I think they thought they were selling this level short by not giving us a mini boss battle before the boss battle. Because, you know, we always fight those mini boss battles first, and then we go, and so I, this one, they made us fight him three times, basically. So you got to deplete that meter, not once, not twice, but three times, and each time he tries to pour some hot lava on us, and, of course, a few of his foes come out try to stop us as well. I get all up close and personal. I try to pull my old Street Fighter tactics, pinning him up against the corner and just spamming that button as fast as I can. But he does this ground pound, which knocks me back and it certainly slows my whole process down. And again, it takes a while. And hey, we haven't heard any confirmed reports or denials of being able to save and exit the level once you get all the collectibles. I I'm pretty sure you can. You know, if one of you guys could actually do that and let me know, that would be great. Uh, uh, the, the only the only catch is is that there is a small small chance that you might finish the level and you might not have any collectibles. You might have to do it again. But the good news is you you already know where they are. You have my video for reference, and uh, I will certainly uh, be grateful for your information. You know Tyler P already got all these, so he can't get them and figure that out for me. Uh, I guess maybe in the DLC we might be able to uh, figure some of that out. I'll have to ask him. Anyhow. If you know any info, it, I would greatly appreciate it. And who knows? There may even be like a digital pat on the back or a high five or something for you. Who knows? And if you're a Facebook fan, maybe even a sticker. I'm not making any promises, but we have been known to reward stickers for valuable information. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of valuable information, head on over to Facebook and click that follow button so you can take part in our weekly giveaways. Every Friday, we open up a giveaway that usually has something Lego relevant or some thumby stickers or something relevant to HTG or Lego and yeah we usually run that contest through Sunday so you got a couple of days to get involved and then we'll randomly pick a winner and let you know and then you'll have 24 hours to respond you'd be surprised how many people enter and don't respond though so check those inboxes and uh oh look at that what's clause is mind free play is officially complete We've got all the way through. We got that stud requirement, of course, thanks to our pink brick stud multipliers that we picked up before and after preparing for free play. And look at that. We've got not one, not two, not, well, we got all of them. How about that? We'll just keep it simple. And what comic do we got? Ooh, we get, I love how we get some studage for that as well. I wonder if that's multiplied by our multiplier. I, I, I'd love to know that. And, of course, we freed Lee and got that final character token, which happened to be Superior Spider-Man, which he looks like he's got, like, part of Doc Ock's suit or something on and I'm not sure what's going down there. And hey, keep in mind, you need to purchase those characters for them to officially be added to your overall total. But I'm recommending you save your money until later because we got to purchase those really expensive pink brick stud multipliers. So, hey, check it out. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 Level 4. What's Claws is mine? Free play! Check us out on social media if you haven't already. Of course, check out the Thumbie Must See. As for me, that's going to do it as always. Until next time! Oh yeah, P.S. Thanks Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. As you know, they hooked us up. 